Right, our next game is called Dice Story, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to feature everybody. all of our players. Everybody, everybody! Now, what's going to happen in this game? These guys are going to tell a story, but they are only able to speak when I'm pointing at them. I will be moving from person to person with whom I'm pointing at, and they have to carry on the story from exactly where the previous person left off, even if that is in the middle of a word. If they fail to do this, you all have a role. You get to shout the word die. <laughs> Please practice this. One, two, three. Die! die! Yeah, it's better in a demon voice. One, two, three. Die! die! I'll tell you something weird about that. Everybody <coughs> universally agrees on what a demon sounds like. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Uh, so, if they fail to carry on from exactly where the previous person left off, you'll shout, DIE! If you feel that they've hesitated for too long, you will shout, DIE! If they fail to carry on an accent, then DIE! If they fail to carry on an accent that one player has given a character and then passes to somebody else and they don't do don't that on. accent, you will shout, DIE! And if you just don't like them very much, you will shout, DIE! DIE! Oh, you won't, that's not up to you. So, we're going to need several things in order to get this story started. First of all, can I have a famous person that's not Donald Trump, because that's going to come up Madonna. a lot in the next four years. Pardon? Madonna. Madonna, good choice. Uh, can I have a fictional character, please? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, lovely. Uh, can I have something that Madonna and Sherlock Holmes might be looking for? A kilt. A kilt. A virgin. <laughs> virgin kilt. Kilt of a virgin, lovely. Uh, and can I have an unusual location where they might be looking for it? Scout camp. Scout camp. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to get raided again? <laughs> Alright, chapter one. The search for the kilt, chapter one. Join us now as we go to this east side of Exmoor, a scout camp. 13 yards wide, 14 yards, it's a hut, basically. Inside is Sherlock Holmes smoking a cigar. He looks out across the scout camp, turned to Madonna, who was next to him as always, and said, Well, we're going to have to find this kilt, but it's not any old kilt. It's actually a virgin kilt. So Madonna turned back to him and she said, There are a lot of IT specialists around here that should not be hard to find. They've all come from Scotland for a great big IBM reunion, and I'm sure that I will be able to find many virgins kilts. <laughs> so they set about looking under the pillows. And looking under the blankets, and looking under the mattresses, and even looking in between the little metal grills that protect the mattresses from falling on the floor, and even... Then they couldn't find this virgin quilt. So they decided to go out. Inside, where the IT consultants were camped round a fire singing Gingangooli and other <laughs> sub camp songs. They saw that each and every one of them was wearing a kilt. So they picked up the first IT person they found, lifted up the kilt just to check whether he was a proper Scot or not, because only a proper Scot would have nothing underneath them. Except for a Glen Willie, this small leather pouch wouldn't protect the genitals. So, Madonna was quite impressed by the first um, IT consultant that she used to kill she lifted up. When they say, and, um, what do we say? I'll tell you, they're too good at it at this point if you don't just kill them off as at the earliest of it. Turns out. Right. Um, chapter two. <laughs> Passing round the uh, campfire, uh, they decided that they would pass the duchy on the left-hand side. <laughs> Which, of course, was a popular song. In the IT community. <laughs> so they took out a, a cable and lit it, and they started smoking a network cable. <laughs> this fumes all send them up. Send them completely mad and crazy. See? Until they couldn't see their own eyes. <laughs> their eyes were so stingy and red and blue. Despite the fact that they were bloodshot. Because they had been all that night, they died! Oh, and that's what a suicide is. <laughs> Chapter three! Then they began to look on all their kilts. They'd gone! Every single IT consultant had lost their kilts. Which was a huge problem for them. Rude. Because they decided that they couldn't just run around with no shorts on or anything, and they were all just waving around, waving around, <laughs> waving, but they had no idea what to do with it, of course. 
which gave them an idea. Sherlock turned to Madonna and said, Ging Gang Gooly. That must be the game we're going to play. Uh, with the IT consultant. So they all lined up in the traditional two rows for Ging Gang Gooly. At which point, uh, man got onto the field waving a flag which read, So, the flag read a symbol. <laughs> you go home and die, Sheldon. Rock Holmes. <laughs> you can't belong here. You steal our clothing. It was a surprisingly wordy flag. 